Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer. Now, about six months ago, I was browsing on Facebook and one of the local news pages posted this. Give a shout out to the best fish and chips in Berkshire. And I think most of the people on that page, because the page used to be called Reading Live, it then changed to Berkshire Live, most of the people on that page are from Reading, and 70-80% of the responses on that post was easily Buckland Road. Now, I agree. Butland Road is my go-to as well for the fish and chips, but there was one comment that really caught my eye. I don't remember it word for word, but it was pretty much like, if you was to ask me a year ago, I would say Butland Road. But now, the JFC in Coley Park is the best fish and chips in Reading. And that caught my interest. So, this is the first of a two-parter today, guys. Firstly, we're on our way to Butland Road to try some fish and chips that I know, that I love. And then tomorrow, we're going to go to Coley Park, where I used to live until I was 14, to try JFC for the first time. So with that being said, guys, if you do like this kind of content, where I'll be reviewing all types of food, please do drop a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when we upload new videos, and let's make a move to Butlin Road. So it was a very, very short journey, so there was really no need to show you the journey. But there's also one other very, very quick thing I want to say as well. Now, usually when I do food reviews, of course, I usually do four factors. I do service, presentation, time, and taste. Presentation and time aren't really going to be two factors that I'm going to consider for this one because it's a chip shop. I ain't going in there to dine in. I'm there to take out. And the presentation, let's be honest, is fish and chips. It's going to be wrapped in white paper, so I can't really do much on the score. At the very least, I can rate the taste. I've got a place in mind where I'm going to eat these, so I'm going to pick them up now. And, um, yeah, it should be good, because I really do like this place. It's the one behind me, New City Fish Bar, the best fish and chips in Reading for now. £9.60, that's lovely. Fantastic, thank you very much. Okay then everyone, so I've arrived at Whitleywood Recreation Park to eat these. Uh, as I said, I knew I had a place in mind. Now, I went for the fish, chips, mushy peas and curry sauce, uh, but in Buckland Road they take cash only. Please bear that in mind, I um, preempted that and bought my wallet. I wasn't going to go for the curry sauce originally. But if you remember Harry from my Zest video and I told him what I was doing this week, uh, I was going to do the Butland Road and the JFC. As soon as I said JFC, his eyes lit up and he goes, the curry sauce at JFC is absolutely banging. I was like, well, now that you've said that, I have to get curry sauce, right? I don't usually go for curry sauce for fish and shit. I do like curry sauce, I do. But when he said JFC curry sauce banging, I was like, well, I've got to do a comparison. So I'm going to go in there now, uh, unravel the fish and chips and let you know how they are. So it has to be said there actually isn't that much time to play with today because the weather doesn't really know look, look like it knows what it's going to do with myself. We'll start off with an all-time favourite, a Butland Road chip on its own. And I have to say, because I know what I'm going in for here, these chips, they're soft on the outside, soft on the inside, and pack a ton of flavour. A little bit of a sweet flavour in there, really, really nice. I love my chips really soft all over. Like, the best way I can describe it is, if I have oven chips, for instance, that are too crispy, 
I usually have them with beans if I'm at home. You've got to pour the beans on them to make them as soft as these. Let's get another one here. They provided me with a fork. I forgot to bring a fork, which was, um, but yeah, really soft on the out. Really nice on the in. Mushy peas. Mushy peas look good. Mushy peas look good. Let's have a bit of these on their own. Dunk it in a chip afterwards. And they're really nice as well. Nowhere near as good as the zest ones. They don't have a... But then the zest ones had those that spicy kick. These are just your, as you'd expect, chip shop mushy peas. I think they're wonderful. Really nice flavour. Not too... I don't know, there was a mushy peas they have at Morrison's, which are god-awful. <laughs> but no, these are good. Let's mix them with a, with a chip here. Oh, if I can pick up the chip. Stuck on the paper ever so slightly. I am avoiding the grease, by the way. Mm. Really good. And the last one, last one, curry sauce. A little bit gloopy on the top, let's give that a stir. A little bit gloopy, but it's curry sauce and the Butland Road stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, that to me, that to me is a really good curry sauce. Nice kick, nice spicy kick coming up here. We're all here for the main event now, aren't we, guys? That fish looks absolutely wonderful. Um, let's get a bit of the, let's see, we'll go back here where it's nice and crunchy. Really nice little flake on the inside there. Crunchy outside, except for the bottom. It was quite a greasy one, it has to be said. Mm. Now, in terms of fish quality, I mean the batter, and there's a, there's a nice bit of batter for you there as well. This is going to be crispy. Here we go. Mm. Really nice. This fish in particular, I've had fish from there before. It's nice. It, it's pretty, um, in, the av in the middle I would say average. Maybe that's an off day for Butland Road, maybe, but... Really nice crispy batter, despite the greasiness of it all. And, um, oh, here we go, a bit of that. There we go, a bit of that fish on its own. I mean, quite a thick piece, has to be said. Actually, yeah, that, no, that is good. That is really good. Not the best I've had from there, has to be said, but if, you know, chip shop fish and chips, I think, I think spot on. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do a proper rating scale, but the service in there is really nice. You do get nice smiles, good service in there. It is a really nice place. It's been there for years and years, and it has been my go-to for years. But I'm only here to rate the taste today, and I'm happy to give that. It's the chip and shop, the chip and fip. <laughs> it's the fish and chip shop that we go to all the time, and I'm giving that a four out of five. Four out of five. I'm going to finish this, guys, and... Uh, get ready to go to JFC tomorrow. Is that the new best? We'll find out. Oh man, guys, I am absolutely stuffed. That one, that one was a filler, that, that was fantastic. And there was not a single chip on there that was crunchy, or, you know, every chip was just as I like it. Soft on the out, soft on the in. Some might disagree, some might like their crunch on their chips, but for me, not having to pour a ton of bean juice on there to make them soft, for me, that was a bonus. Uh, really enjoyed as well eating it in the park. Been to that fish and chip shop for years. Never had it though out in the open. It's like a nice little picnic feel just having it out here. Just seem to make things taste a little bit better. So I get to do the same again tomorrow uh, with the JFC in Coley Park. What I didn't mention, uh, when I mentioned about the person on Facebook who said, 
oh, the JFC is the best one now. That comment, I remember it got a lot of likes. There may be some credibility to that comment, and I will find out tomorrow. But I really enjoyed this one, guys. Butland Road is always a winner, but I am looking forward to see if uh, JFC could be the new number one. And if there's any more that you highly rate in this area, let me know. I'm The Wanderer, guys. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more videos. And with that being said, I'm going to lay down. <laughs> Bye for now.